your your film blemish light is is uh, not an easy film to watch because it's it's extremely disturbing in its imagery and uh, and the situations that it it deals with uh, again uh, to ask you the basic question uh, were these characters uh, inspired by people you read about people you come across i mean obviously these are extremely these are extreme characters anybody who makes a film uh, in my opinion is is drawing on his own personal experiences growing up i have seen how how religion uh, has kind of uh, carved a shadow over the whole country and sort of uh, violent uh, things happening all around us uh, in name of religion and sort of growing up i've seen that uh, and so i you know i kind of hate the concept of religion uh, very straightforward and so i i wanted to make a film uh, that definitely expresses that and i decided you know okay i i want to make a film about uh, how different identities are, are kind of boxed uh, as something specific and how violence is inflicted on them in in name of that particular identity however we are you know uh, uh, so many identities as as one individual so i will chatter she is a critic uh, is a father a lover uh, a hindu or somebody from calcutta i mean you have so many identities but then when suddenly violence will be inflicted on you uh, in certain scenario in the world we live in it could be inflicted in name of maybe you are a hindu person so so i wanted to make a film about that and so i picked two separate stories one in new york and one in new delhi um one dealing with muslim identity and terrorism one dealing with homosexual identity uh, and what it faces in india and i ran them parallels so all the characters were created like mirror images on on both sides events are happening in mirror images and i never wanted them to meet because the film was about something else it was not just about stories about muslim issues or stories about homosexuality but it was or something something else yeah. uh, but uh, what is the uh, most striking about the film is that it takes both these uh, stories to uh, you know completely over the edge in terms of uh, what what happens in the end i mean the violence on on one side is extremely graphic and brutal uh, the violence on this on this woman is also extremely difficult to sort of digest because it is inflicted by the father of the girl was it a concern that taking this to this extreme might just make it difficult for the audiences to to digest it and, and even even the sensor board what the sensor board has already said they're not going to let it go through mm. uh, but i never cared about the sensor board and in, in some way i'll be very bad in saying that then when i'm making a film i don't care about the audience either because i'm making a film about something that i want to say and audience is such a vast group of people again why box them like i'm making a film about identity why box audience saying audience can take this and cannot take this right i mean they are free individuals when they will see something some will walk out of it some will question it some will say it's a exploitative film some will say it's done right this is the only film uh, that has come out in a long period of time so i've heard all these comments from people and so i believe audience is much smarter than a filmmaker so a filmmaker should just let go of that idea of what audience will do with it and just go get on with your business so i kind of ne never cared about it and regarding going over the edge uh i mean unless you say something that's important to be said what is to be said i mean what is the point of leaving it half way somewhere i mean what is what are you doing i mean if, if you're trying to say something go ahead i mean you're going to spend years of your life making a film you're going to spend everybody's money on it you're going to spend 200 people and going to work on a crew with you I mean, give everybody respect and just go all the way through. Say what you want to yeah, say. Uh, but precisely because you're spending money on the film, I mean, obviously most directors would uh, would prefer to play safe. I mean, and not, uh, I mean, just uh, suggest situations and not actually show them happening, uh, which you don't do. I mean, you actually show them, uh, you know, on the screen. You also have to sell the film. You have to show it to people. I mean, the sensor board stops it. You don't. You're not able to distribute it. In, India. I mean, you can show it abroad, but I mean, India is a bit tough. So, will you be okay with toning down the film a bit, or I mean, will you stick to your plan? No, I'm 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 not cutting a single frame from the film. It's going to stay as is. Uh, censor allows it, doesn't allow it. 
uh, I think you know the the world has changed. I think we can find innovative new ways to support the censor board to to show the film and and, and you know find ways to do that. Regarding uh, the question of uh, people who fund the film, I, I'm I'm sure people who fund this film of mine would not fund my next film. So that's okay. What should I say? I think I think it's just like you just have to stay honest as a filmmaker. Uh, because uh, a middle ground, I, I don't know, middle ground doesn't do anything. I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I, I, I don't appreciate a film that I go out to watch, which is somewhere here and somewhere there. I was, uh, I'm not going to name the actor, but it was a very famous actor uh, in our uh, Hindi film industry who I approached with the script first. And, uh, you know, he loved the script. He wanted to do the script. I would have got all the money, like the day he would have signed it, I would have got all the money. I wouldn't have gone through the trouble of uh, three years trying to make this film. So he read the script and he said, I want to do it, let's just cut some of this sexuality and this violence from the film and then it's all good to go. So uh, like a good student of cinema, uh, I, my first uh, class in cinema was Stan Brakich who says open your eyes and, and watch it the way it is. And so I half an hour sat down with him hoping that he's such a sort of, uh, such a stalwart in the Indian film industry will understand what I'm trying to say. Half an hour I spent explaining him why it is important for this film to be made that it, it should be made and he he didn't budge so I had to let go of that then I sent the script to Victor Banerjee and um, I just got a call, phone call with him not a single question asked I'm doing it when I'll be shooting and uh, I just, I just want to praise that man here in front of everybody the guy didn't ask me for a penny to do the film um, so, what I'm saying is that he's also a stalwart in the industry. I mean, they're all kind of people. So, what I'm trying to say is that they're all kind of films, they're all kind of financiers, they're all kind of audiences. Uh, so, uh, I, I think there's a possibility for everything. It might be a smaller possibility for something and bigger possibility for something else, but you know, possibilities are there. And, and the title, I mean, the Fair Them with Fair's Connection, where did that come from? I'm going to change the title, I've decided to change the title. I, I just after the festival I decided I'm going to change the title. T title is going to become uh, Faces of Unfreedom. So the, the title of the film right now is Blemish Light and the tagline is Faces of Unfreedom. So I'm reversing it. So the title will be Faces of Unfreedom and the tagline will be Blemish Light. But coming back to Faz and Faz, uh, I read his poem, Ye Daag Daag Ujala Ye Shab Kazi Da Sitar, Guan Zaar Ta Jiska Ye Ho Sahar Ta Nahi. And uh, the poem was written uh, uh, at the independence 1947 uh, and he's um, he's saying that we got the independence now but uh, look look what is happening I mean religious like riots are happening everybody's killing each other so is this the freedom that we were looking for and so I wanted to make a film about unfreedom and everybody who goes to Facebook go to hashtag unfreedom we're running that campaign soon so uh, so I wanted to make a film about unfreedom and so that was a perfect example. I mean, it, the poetry was perfect. And Faz himself, as, as, as a figure, you know, uh, represents that. Uh, so he, the, the transliteration of his poem is Blanishai, Dal Dal Ujala. So that's so the title. Thank you.